So to understand what thyroid cancer is, we need to know what the thyroid gland is. So the thyroid gland is an organ that's found at the front of the neck here. So it's attached to the windpipe and the trachea and it moves whenever we swallow. So when we talk about thyroid cancer, we're talking about a, a tumor that arises from this gland. And usually in this gland, we can see nodules that develop and the nodules can be as common as up to 50 to 60 percent of people above the age of 60. Uh, but the good news is that majority of these nodules are benign. Only about 10 to 15 percent of them are cancerous. And when we say cancerous, it means that they have a potential of spreading and growing out of control. There are about 1,000 new cases of thyroid cancer diagnosed every year in Singapore for patients or people aged under 60. In men under the age of 40, it's the sixth most common cancer diagnosed. And in women under the age of 50, it's either the second or the third most common cancer encountered. Thyroid cancer is more commonly encountered in women simply because thyroid nodules are more commonly encountered in women. Thyroid nodules are fairly common and, and it's estimated that upwards of 50 to 60% of women a bit above the age of 60 have thyroid nodules. Of these, only about 10 to 15% turn out to be cancerous. In the last 10 years of my practice, the most commonly encountered cancer in patients aged under 50 is thyroid cancer. The two most common is papillary thyroid cancer and follicular thyroid cancer. These are the two most common and usually the prognosis of both are fairly good with uh, adequate treatment. There are rarer forms of thyroid cancer such as medullary thyroid cancer and uh, anaplastic thyroid cancer. And in those two kinds of thyroid cancer, they tend to be a lot more aggressive. Uh, treatment has to be tailored accordingly as well. And the prognosis really depends on the patient's pre-morbid state and the uh, extent of the disease and diagnosis. If you experience a lump in the neck that is persistent for more than two to three weeks, it's advisable for you to seek medical attention and see your general practitioner. And after a clinical examination, if it's deemed necessary, he or she will refer you on to an appropriate specialist for further treatment.